Let's see if this car starts. Hasn't been started since April when I put those new master cylinder on it up in California. Let's do some muddy if it starts. Yeah. Currently the worst condition on the farm. Yeah, the floor is caving. Not that it wasn't before. Oh, she's cranking. Come on, battery. Is that the fuel pump? I think we were worried about that. Because the, the bird did the same thing. Yeah! Oh, got enough fuel to it. Spin through a lot. Right. better with that on. Come on, baby. I'll run the bad gas through it first. Yeah. Installed before. Oh. But there's hardly any fuel coming back to the return line when all the fuel should come back to the return line. So I think the fuel pump could be screwed up inside just from season. Not making enough pressure. Well, I hate to say it, I give up on the Cressida. You just saw me trying to start it for a long time. Well, the engine it's, itself is fine. I first thought it was that crappy old fuel pump that sounded like a mad hornet that didn't have enough beer. Anyways, so after two redneck gas tank systems hooked up to it later, still runs the same. Diagnosis. Water had found its way in there last winter, which I know. I did try to start it. It did start in the spring and the winter time. But a little bit of water collected in the fuel rail that laid into the little inside tips that feed the injectors and some of the injectors are seized up and not opening and closing. Disconnected fuel lines blew out the air through, purged the system several times both ways. No luck. Oh well, hate to say it, but we have to kill the Cressida now. It just barely runs. So, let's think of a good way suitable for a Toyota. I don't think I've ever purposely killed a Toyota. <laughs> A Geo maybe, but not a Toyota. Mwah. Well, tractor runs great. So does my 3.8, except we have another old friend that could be on its way out. There's the front frame, no longer connected to the body. 
In fact, the frame's got holes everywhere, and there ain't much body to attach it to. And here's the back part of that same piece of frame. Completely broke off from its body mount. Well, guess what happened? Same thing as my video called Death of an Old Friend. The, the frame fell off the car and pulled the steering column out of the rack. So now this wonderful running van has no steering. So on not too busy a day, I'll have to pick it up, see if there's some way to reattach the rack to the frame, considering there's no room under there. And see if I can reattach the frame to the body somehow. What a waste. I, I really don't want to kill this thing. And the radio sounds awesome too.